Just navigating the first weekend of the Six Nations will be tricky. So many borders being crossed and so many different sets of COVID rules. Once you cross the channel, you find Italy travelling to France, the two countries that have taken the hardest lines. A super green pass is needed to get into public venues in Italy. A vaccine pass is mandatory too in France. No exceptions, not even for those playing. Most of the squads are totally vaccinated, but not England. Look, I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't ask Tom, show me your vaccination status. That's not part of the selection criteria. Um, so it's not something that concerns me. It's not something I'm in control of. But when we work out what you need to have to get into France, and if there are players elig eligible or staff eligible, then we'll find replacements. After two years of playing in near empty stadiums, the atmosphere of the Six Nations is about to be rekindled. The last couple of years, not having the crowds in the venue has been pretty, pretty strange. Uh, but we are obviously living in strange times. And yeah, I think the best we can do is obviously being uh, conscious that uh, observing, the, observing these rules will, we will help us going out of this current situation. Then I think it's going to be, it's going to be an awesome Six Nations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really... Former England prop Victor Abugu now runs his own travel firm, taking fans to the Six Nations. He's desperate to get going again. In terms of the players, it's, it's a very clear-cut rule. If you're not vaccinated, you're not going to get into Italy. You're not going to get into France. Um, fans, you're not going to get into Italy. You're not going to get into France. So you have to get vaccinated if you want to go to those places. If you choose not to be vaccinated, then it's a non-starter. Wales had a positive COVID test on day one of their preparation camp. It will be a running theme as the Six Nations and their fans return to the fray. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.